Welcome to the Gambella Center in Western Ethiopia. great opportunity. There's so many needs and so much potential here. One of the outstanding needs is a need for further education because this area is one of the few places in the world where our clergy just have not had the opportunity to have education and they're hungry for it. And they say, please, can you teach us more? We know how to bring people to Jesus, but we don't know how to make disciples. We don't know the depth of, of how to, 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 to walk out what the Bible's saying. And we have churches that are growing. We have lay evangelists that, are, that want more training. And what we're doing now is we're bringing in the clergy once a month for a couple of intensive days of training or to receive training from visiting professors like Johan and Louise are here and Nancy's here to give some training and the, the desire and the gratitude for this is amazing. Um, it's been an area that has not attracted a lot of teachers because of the extreme heat, the lack of running water, the lack of electricity. Um, it's, just, it's, it's a hard place to live. But it's a place where you get to engage uh, the people who want to learn. And Johan and Louise have a heart for teaching and for coming alongside and an understanding of the culture that it would just be such a blessing to have them come alongside and establish a place where not only the clergy of this area but the clergy surrounding Sudan um, who don't have a place to be educated um, they, um, they need to come Daddy Dad. Um, they need to come and um, have an opportunity to learn. A lot of very interesting things here. We're hoping that Johan and Louise Venderbilt will come and join us. One of the great hopes we have is that uh, the next generation of clergy will, in the Gambella region, will be better trained than the present generation. The present generation are all wonderful people, but uh, they've had very little training. Only one has been to theological college. Uh, they were mostly ordained in the middle of a war situation. If they could read, they, they were candidates for ordination. So uh, we, w we would like uh, to start a small theological college here, and we want Johan to head up that college. We want also to hire some African instructors. We have, we're going to use the library for that. We want to build a, another classroom. We have one classroom now we use for our training. We want to build another classroom and some dormitory space for students to live in. Uh, Louise is a trained nurse so she would she would help my my wife Wendy who's a medical doctor in the in the development and health care program with the Mothers Union.
come alongside an existing work to work with our brethren in the Gambella People's Region in the establishment of St. Frumentius Theological College, to work alongside the Mother's Union to teach them basic nutrition, basic health skills that will better the lives of their families and especially their children. They will bring down the infant mortality rate. The, the Bible tells us, Jesus tells us, that we should uh, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send forth laborers into the, the harvest field. Well, you know, you've prayed that prayer. I'm sure you've prayed that prayer. God has called Louisa and myself, but we can't do it on our own. This is an amazing opportunity, but not just for us. It is also an amazing opportunity for you. You can come alongside us. You can come on our team and help us get to the harvest field and help us stay on the harvest field and give us the tools we need to do the work. In